Muslim refugee says raping girls is part of his culture, judge has five words for him. While we can appreciate, and in many cases, tolerate or even enjoy the differences among the various cultures that our world displays. But that said, there are certain behaviors that must transcend cultural differences. For example, murder and theft are morally wrong and must subject the perpetrator to justice regardless of what cultural or religious beliefs such a person holds. All of this should be so obvious that comment should not be necessary. Without the restraint and punishment of those who commit evil acts, society is not possible, and the enjoyment of life and one's freedoms are impaired, in some cases permanently. Hence when we have a Muslim refugee who has been convicted of raping four young girls, he is deserving of nothing but the most severe punishment as provided by law. His request for leniency because he claims that rape is part of his culture is not only without merit, but is offensive in the extreme. Fortunately the judge saw the matter in the same way stating that, behavior of this nature is abhorred in virtually every civilized culture on this earth. This is a story of a tragic decision by one judge being corrected by the second. In July 2017, Zohair Tamari once again made headlines when the 20-year-old Syrian asylum seeker reappeared before the court for raping underage girls. Despite Tamari being convicted of child sex trafficking for raping a pair of 15 and 17 year old white British girls in 2016, an unnamed judge in the UK's Coventry Crown Court released him on bail. Of course, Tamari celebrated his freedom by raping two more white British girls, ages 13 and 14. Fortunately, Tamari's case was transferred to a different court placing the refugee under the jurisdiction of a judge who has common sense. Whatever misguiding thinking the first judge used in releasing this dangerous criminal on bail, he or she bears some of the responsibility for enabling this young criminal to rape two more young girls. Fortunately, the judge who heard the second case was not disposed to turning dangerous rapists loose even when they making ridiculous appeals to their culture. Freya Titer reports that in an effort to invoke sympathy from the judge, Tom Ari's defense attorney spoke on his behalf, claiming that the Syrian refugee perhaps did not understand the culture of this country. It was then that Judge Lockhart brought down the hammer. Irate at this ridiculous excuse, Justice Lockhart informed defense attorney Jason Pegg that the culture Tamari will integrate into now is prison culture because behavior of this nature is abhorred in virtually every civilized culture on this earth. With that, Tamari was ordered to register as a sex offender for the rest of his life and the trial was dismissed, according to the Coventry Telegraph. Instead of capitulating to the left's notion that even though certain cultures are barbaric, we should respect them, Judge Lockhart made a righteous judgment to uphold the laws of his country, dismissing the Islamic privilege Tamari hoped to use in his favor. Additionally, he concluded that because he believes Tamari will continue his crime spree, he will be forever tracked by federal authorities. There is no valid cultural, religious, or ideological mandate that permits one person to murder, rape, pillage, rob, or otherwise injure another person or his or her property. Period. Any religion or ideology that teaches that these things are permissible in any circumstances is an offense against humanity and must be summarily condemned. Source, Mad World News.